Hey, good morning. Happy Halloween. October 31st, day number nine for us in the great, well, day number nine on the trip. Day number six in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We uh, pushed on to Tri Corner Knob Shelter. There weren't a ton of uh, really great places for our hammocks. So we, on this hillside, as you can see, this is kind of how we set up. And that's kind of the, and you see it's a big steep hill, but and we had some flat ground here and some flat ground up there. So as you can see, it's uh, with the hammock, you really have a lot more options than than with the tent. I probably could have put my tent over here, but if two other tents were here, I couldn't have. So the shelter's right up there, and uh, we've uh, met, uh, we met two other hikers, uh, Lumberjack and Redcap, and they moved on uh, further south, and we're going north. So we'll do an update this morning uh, after we get moving. All right, later. Good morning. Happy Halloween again. It's October 31st. Blister is a, a road cone, and I am uh, I'm Pikachu for Halloween. So anyway, we just left the shelter. It's about 9.30. Took our time. We only have a seven and a half mile day. Uh, pretty happy of our decision yesterday to go all the way to Tri Corner Knob Shelter. It just made a lot more sense to camp with water. So today we woke up and everything was very moist. And now that I look around, I can see why. Um, we're actually in the clouds right now. If you look out there. Um, you know, the clouds are, are pretty high up right now. I'm not sure what the weather's supposed to be. I know it's not supposed to rain, but we probably will be walking through some of these clouds. But this is uh, day nine on our trip. We have about seven maybe 18 miles to go or 17 and a half because well, maybe 18 and the second half of the trip's just been 10 times better I'm not gonna lie there's been water there's been water packs there's been a lot of uh, cool through hikers that you know we've had some good conversation with and other campers and backpackers sorry um, so, all in all, for the struggles, I mean, I, I remember back at the NOC, there were times when, or not the NOC, but halfway through that first one when we were not finding water, we had real doubts. About, I mean, I, I, I don't know what blisters doubts were, but I, I kind of had doubts, like, do I really want to even go into the Smokies if there's no water? I mean, it did cross my mind, like, maybe this isn't the year, but... We, we went through that and kind of glad we did because it just makes, it, makes you know what you're capable of without everything being comfortable all the time. So, uh, I don't have much else. You got anything else there, uh, Blister? Well, I think I started the trip a little over six foot. After a week with a pack, I think I'm down to about 5'10". Pretty soon I'll be looking Terrio straight in the eye. Yeah, but he can still dunk it, so that's all right. <laughs> all right, so uh, if we get some nice views, we'll stop again and uh, videotape them. But here's a kind of a look at where the clouds are see up on that mountain peak. I'm not sure if we're going up there, but it's definitely moist. We, uh, we'll try to dry some stuff out tonight if we get to the shelter. Hey, it's uh, I don't know, probably almost probably a little past 10 but I just want to show you look how dark it is a little past 10 in this creepy woods on Halloween so uh, you can see I don't know if you can see but I can see the, that we're actually walking through a cloud right now which I guess if it's touching the ground up here it's technically fog but I'm still gonna call it a cloud because the ground isn't supposed to be 6,000 feet up so here's one of those little mossy areas again. It's like everything in here is wet. 
it's almost like a rainforest. So, I'll let you walk with us a minute. It's kind of cool through this dark woods. And the path right now is just spectacular. It's been a lot of rocks the last few miles, and this is like walking on carpet. Pine needles, uh, soft dirt. All right, enough scary. If uh, we don't make it out, you'll know this is probably where we bought it. Bye. This uh, right here is what they call the plane wreckage. I guess there was a plane that hit the side of the mountain over here. I don't know what year. I'll try to get some information on that and share it with you later. But you can see, uh, we would probably would have walked right by it if Todd didn't see it, Blister didn't see it. So that's some uh, plane fuselage from a, a crash years ago. I'm not sure where the rest of there's any debris anywhere else, but it's uh, interesting that they miscalculated and almost made it here. I don't know what, what caused the plane crash, but that's uh, still some wreckage left from it down there. And interesting. Doesn't seem like it's uh, very much of it there, is it? Well, he said you could climb it. big piece down there. I'm, this We just saw a green piece. I'm not sure if this might have been uh, a military plane that crashed. Um, maybe the pilot ejected. Who knows? But uh, I don't know if you can see through the woods there. There's a, another pretty significant piece down uh, between those trees. All right. One of our last parts of our last climb for the day. This is a... Uh, I'm going to be panting while I say this, but... The northern end of the Smokies seems to skirt the mountaintops. You can see way up there is the summit, and then here's the trail, and then way down there. So the northern end of the Smokies seems to skirt the summits a little bit, and uh, they, uh, you know, you climb, but you climb around the mountain. The southern end, they seem to want to go over the top of every mountain, like the day we went over Thunderhead and a few other places. The trail just kept going up and down. Granted, the tops of those were kind of bald and they were pretty, but uh, you can see, uh, you just, you come around the corner, you see more hill. You just keep going, come around the corner again, see more hill, you just keep telling yourself every mountain has a top. So we have about one and a half miles left today, probably half of that's uphill, half of that's downhill. So we just stopped and ate lunch prior to climbing up these hills. So. Uh, today we, was the last time we hit 6,000 feet. So, alright, um, I'm huffing and puffing as usual, so I will, uh, you can see this goes all the way up around the corner there. So I'm going to put this away and continue to climb. Good. Hey, I just wanted to show you we're at uh, Cosby Knob Shelter. Let's get a nice view down the way across the valley. We're 11 miles from the end of the Smokies, and it's typical Smoky shelter. It's got the big, nice overhang with the picnic bench, the tarp, and uh, the double bunk beds inside. It's got a nice fireplace, and this one has a really nice. Oops, this one has a really nice uh, pipe spring that uh, blisters down there uh, getting his water. I already got mine. It's a little sloped for uh, hammocks. We'll find a spot though. You know, it's just when you're setting it up, you don't want your stuff rolling down the hill. 
Uh, there are some really nice spots up that hill if we decide we have the energy to even go up there. But Blister found two nice spots over near the wood line over there, so we'll probably use those. All right, uh, it was a short day, seven and a half miles. Only ran into like a couple other through hikers and a guy and a gal that were, or an older couple that that were uh, doing a part of the trail. It's only 318 on Halloween, so we're going to take this opportunity to recover, relax, reminisce about this trip as tomorrow is the last day we hike out at Smokies. All right. Oh, I wanted to start show you one thing. Almost all the shelters have one of these uh, shelter logs. And as people are hiking through, they uh, it's almost like their news system. They can see who's ahead of them, who's behind them, and whatnot. And we look to see if there's been bears or anything. But uh, Mega Man, we saw him the other day. And Lumberjack, we saw him. Uh, and then... Yeah, I don't see too many other. Bright side, we saw him the other day. So, it's kind of interesting. You can see uh, if you were hiking and you didn't know where people were and they didn't have phones, you'd at least know how far or how long ago they, they were here at your shelter. All right, take it easy. shelter and followed the AT all the way to Cosby Knob shelter. This initial climb in the morning was a really nice drop the rest of the day for a short day all the way to Cosby Knob shelter where we stayed at 4,870 feet. Mm -hmm.